So I just did a trip to Dallas, so from Chicago area to Dallas, and I drive it um, because I have to interact with less people. <laughs> I think it's long, uh, but I did the uh, I've got a Tesla Model 3 and I, I did the full self-driving rental because I'm like, this is what it's there for. And um, for the most part, it drove me there real nice. It was good, except when it wasn't. And it's kind of like it's a they call it like supervised or full self. -driving. It's kind of like you're pretty drunk, not totally wasted and definitely not sober in the way it does it. Like it's fine. little straight line or like getting on the, the, and once you're on the expressway, just going around, like that's fine. Anybody, any, any the pretty drunk people could do that pretty well. Most of the time. Um, super drunk people. No, no, like that, that's not, but like, so full stuff driving X kind of drunk, especially when it comes to, uh, cars pulled over on the side of the road and construction zones. Two times you really don't want to be drunk. <laughs> so Tesla needs to flip that around. And so that was my observation. I will say it does allow me to do a 16 hour drive in one day uh, and not be completely a nervous wreck when it's over. Um, and so it, it is quite beneficial most of the time, but some of the time it's idiotic and like it would change speeds for no reason. Like it would change the speed limit. There was no sign. It did it multiple times. And it was like, all of a sudden it's 45. I'm like, no, you just saw the fucking minimum for trucks, you asshole. Like I was, I was, I had a relationship with the full self-driving during this trip. Um, a lot of it involved cursing. Um, so not keeping it, but we'll get it again for a long trip, but know its limitations. Kind of like, well, everything.